I'm Jan Pinkava, and I've been recently working with the Google Advanced Technologies and Projects Group on some innovative uh, shows on smartphones. It's hard to say where it will go from here, but it's just a medium for telling stories, one way or another. People always used to say, it's just a pencil. Wow, it's a heck of a pencil, isn't it, uh, the computer? But uh, if you see it as just a medium, yeah, anything's possible. I don't know if it's a case of me getting older, but I see the pace of change accelerating. I think that's the way it feels. And uh, the way that digital pictures uh, get everywhere in our lives keeps growing and growing. And uh, I think that's going to keep on going that way. I was asked to uh, join a very interesting group uh, in Google called the Advanced Technologies and Projects Group. And uh, they're uh, tasked with making new and interesting things in all kinds of directions. And one of those is interactive uh, graphics on smartphones. It turns out that phones these days are very powerful image computers and everyone has got one in their pocket. And you can do a lot more with those phones than most people think you can. And so uh, we were able to, uh, with the help of a lot of uh, guys smarter than me, make some really fun things that we're using that great technology in the service of storytelling and entertaining people. You know, the thing that fascinates me is um, what you can do with something that's specifically made for a smartphone because it's not only a great image computer that can push pixels onto its little screen, but it's also packed with sensors that tell it where it is and which way up it's facing and how you're moving it through space. And when you put those two things together, you have an engine for interactive graphics that you can use in all kinds of surprising ways to create immersive, uh, amazing storytelling that you wouldn't otherwise think was possible. I think this is the kind of thing that is a thing whose time has come. Everyone can see that there's a lot of potential in making pictures with phones. And uh, we're all looking for good ways to use that technology so that it's not there just to add to the utility of the device in your pocket to help you do texting and phoning and keeping your calendar straight and all those things, but actually to give you something that's a little more emotional because these things in our pockets are actually with us all the time and they're really part of our lives. And wouldn't it be great if they mean a little bit more to us than just doing our jobs? I've always loved short films. I love going to an animation festival and watching all the huge variety of short films that, uh, that people make, from character-driven uh, stories to abstract uh, art pieces. Uh, to me, short animation is like the, the poetry of animated film. Everything from silly little limericks to really actually profound stuff. Huge range, huge expressive potential. A short form is ideal for our busy lives on a phone. And if we can experience uh, something that is moving or entertaining or fun or just something that is emotionally engaging in our busy days with this uh, phone in, uh, that we carry with us, that's, that's a great thing. Uh, I, I love the idea that we are reaching potentially anyone who has a phone in their pocket. That's a lot of people out there, and that number of people is growing all the time. So this is big audiences who, um, in their busy day, at some point, want to see something different. You touch on the fact that we are surrounded by stuff. There's so much around us all the time, and we hardly have time to take it all in. And aren't we so grateful when we see something that's good in the whole flow of everything that goes over us? And it's such a joy to actually pick out of this flow something that's really, um, something that you feel is valuable because it, uh, it touches you, it entertains you. Now, it turns out that we have the capacity to actually offer to you, the owner of the phone, a gift. We can say, you haven't seen this before, try it. Here, have a go. If you don't want it, that's okay. And we can, as it were, push it to you, offer it to you. So we have the possibility of uh, uh, giving our work to a lot of people. And with that comes a lot of responsibility. If you're going to knock on somebody's door and say, how about uh, looking at this show 
well, it better be good. And I think that's the way most filmmakers think. They're trying to do their best work. They're trying to do something that they feel really stands up uh, on its own terms and that people will want to see. We all want to do good stuff. So we have the opportunity to bring our work to a huge audience. And uh, it can be discovered because we can put it on your phone. And we want to do that in a way that's respectful, that's, uh, that allows you to ignore it if you want to, that actually uh, um, gives you all the control. Because what we're doing, unlike watching a movie where you pay 10 bucks and go into a dark room with a bunch of other people, and that's the relationship you have with the filmmaker. In this case, we're coming to you and saying, here's something new, try it. One of the things that's really interesting to me about uh, a story that's told on a phone or a, a show that's presented on a smartphone is that it's a direct channel between me, the filmmaker, and you, the audience. And anyone who wants to produce work that way has an opportunity to address a, a potentially a very big audience in a very, very direct way. And I think just like uh, YouTube, which is so huge that it can, um, any, everyone, everyone's taste can be accommodated. If you're someone who has a, a voice, a particular point of view, you can find a large enough audience for your work. And uh, this way of uh, presenting uh, shows and uh, entertainment and uh, all kinds of things on, on the phone is a, is a new relationship between uh, between filmmakers and their audience, and was, I think it's really interesting to explore that. I don't really know exactly where it's going to go, uh, but it's something to to look at very carefully because you can find an awful lot of people who may want what you're trying to give them, and if you can do good work, if you can do something that will be, uh, they'll come to you again, then you have an opportunity to, to find your audience. Initial work that we've done at uh, Google ATAP has already been released twice. We, uh, we released a, uh, a story called Windy Day on the Motorola Moto X phone, and that was quickly followed by uh, another piece that Mark Ofterdahl directed called uh, Buggy Night. So there are already two examples on that particular device, those people who own it, of uh, this new form of interactive show that we've, uh, we've developed. And there'll be more, and uh, hopefully it'll go even wider.